height inhibitors were overlooked. It's one of the oldest chemicals that have been around. Diclofenzeron, uh, things like that, Trifluoron, Bear had one. They were overlooked because they were used at such low rates that they were actually waiting for the insects, primarily agricultural insects, because pesticides are primarily made for the agricultural industry and not us. Uh, but now we're using them here too. They kind of get bumped over to us after they kind of pan out in the ag industry. But chitin inhibitors would kill the insects just like that. And everybody back, you know, after the end of World War II wanted to use neurotoxic pesticides. They want to spray the insects and see them die like right now, right here in front of me. You know, and it's got to stink like hell. Or else you didn't do a good job. Well, chitin inhibitors are overlooked, and they didn't typically knock down insects like that because they were only allowed to go to the first step of exploratory before they started being replaced. Well, we looked at them. They were great for termite based because you can wait three or four months for the colony to crash, blah, blah, blah. Well, we found out that if you feed them a high enough rate, there's chitin synthesis that's ongoing 24 hours a day for that insect's entire life, and you can actually melt within a couple of days something like a queen that doesn't ever shed her skin. So it's opening up a whole new arena for us, and we're rapidly developing products for ag and for structural pest control uh, that are acting more like neurotoxic. Uh, and the fact that they can knock down very quickly so people don't have to put up with cockroaches crawling around for a week or two. We can knock them down in a day. All right? So there's going to be baits coming out in the not too distant future. There's going to be kite inhibitors in there instead of neurotoxins. So the neurotoxins are being canceled globally because of their environmental impact. Everybody wants to go green, right? Uh, and we've been handing some pretty toxic stuff to work with here lately. I don't know how some of these got registered. And that would be quite frankly, I asked some questions of the EPA and they couldn't answer either. But I think we all know how that works, right? Pay enough money to get anything done here. But these tight inhibitors, that wasn't going to be funny. That's the truth. It's, you have to laugh to keep from trying when you feel easy. These chitin inhibitors are great because the insects have never been hit with them on any kind of a broad scale, and they have to have an exoskeleton to live. You don't have to work at the synaptic site with the neurotoxin uh, and then end up with some type of resistance because they grew a nose that's blocking the pesticide now from entering and blocking that uh, neurotoxin that you're putting out. Our pesticides have always been called neurotoxins or nerve interrupters in the fact that when they enter the insect's uh, system, they go in there and flood that receptor site, so that signal is broken down from the brain to the respiratory, and consequently the end up with a dead bug, it goes hybrid first, and then it goes dormant and dead. Uh, but when you do that type of killing with neurotoxins, you got to kind of think of a population of termites, like a population of any other insect, like a crop insect. It's like a shotgun blast, an individual. Every little pellet represents an individual. And the neurotoxins were always good at going in there and wiping out everything that was sensitive to these neurotoxins. But it left behind a percentage that either one, the pesticide by the time it got to that population, was now at a sublethal rate so consequently they built resistance to it, or they already had a natural a resistance to it because you've just killed all the sensitive ones, <coughs> leaving the ones that are no longer, are not sensitive to start with, or no longer sensitive to those pesticides to breed with one another. And when you start getting your first generation, second generation of insects, no matter what it is, termites in this particular case, they are completely resistant to that pesticide. I know you